friends, it is a Costco shopping day and I have a helper with me today. I have Hunter with me. I just went into Anchorage. He had his cross country running championships and he did amazing. He was running with the sixth and seventh graders. He got a PR or a personal record. What was your time? 13.38. 13 minutes, 38 seconds for a, how, what, how long was the 3K. race? For a 3K. He got 43rd place out of like 200 sixth and seventh grade boys. It was the entire school district. He did fantastic. I surprised him with some of my favorite macarons from Sweet Caribou. If you are in the Anchorage area, you need to try their salads and their macarons. Look how beautiful they are. They taste even better than they look. Good job, Hunter. Proud of you. I love cheering him on. Costco was on the way home, so he's gonna come and help me shop. Let's get going. We are all shocked. The sun came out today. It is just gorgeous out. It is a little bit windy. We've got some weird weather brewing and we're supposed to get tons of rain this weekend. So we're just like soaking this in today. It was the perfect day for a cross country running race, except for it was really windy out there at the park, but um, the sunshine was a very nice surprise. We're gonna quickly wander the first couple aisles. We don't have a ton of time. The little boys actually have school buses for three weeks. For three weeks, we get school buses, but we still need to get home as close to possible when they're getting home. So Hunter's race was during the school day. He got to get out of school early and ride a bus to his race. These look new. The bottles for oil. You a three piece oil and vinegar bottle. So. One has a spray top, that's kind of cool. You pump it up and you can spray out your oil and then two have pour tops, I like those. $14.99 for three. I really need one of these instant read thermometers. 10 bucks. The last time I bought one of these, it broke as I was getting it out of the package. So let's not break this one. We need that because when we're doing meat, on the grill. Sometimes you need to know immediately if it's done. Ooh, I haven't seen these before. How cute are those patterns? Reusable food storage bags. So you get 14 for $14. That's, I feel like that's a good deal. Just, oh, they have different colors. We've got the lemons and pears and then the oranges. So fun. Oh, I haven't seen this before. An advent calendar for dogs. Eight dog toys, 16 bags, $38.99. We have some Happy Harvest oval platters, $14.99. Getting in the mood for Thanksgiving. Can you get a bag of cat food for Luna, please? $23.69. She prefers the salmon and sweet potato. Always just found ever since she was a baby that she prefers anything with fish in it. Can you please grab some of the um, cat litter too? So this has four bags of scoop away cat litter for $16.99. We're trying out a new mount for the camera to make it less jerky. So hopefully it's good for you guys. It's time to restock on Freezer sandwiches, six eighty nine. We we'll grab two of them. Do you still like in the sandwiches? Yeah. Get on tomatoes for you. Apples, five ninety nine or a dollar ninety nine a pound. These are perfect for the kids to take in their lunches because they're smaller, so they can actually finish them. We've been going through a lot lately. I'm gonna grab two bags. I'm actually gonna put one bag back and try these ambrosia apples because they just look really good and they are they're $8.49 or two dollars a pound $6.69 for just this basic wheat bread this is what we make our peanut butter and jelly homemade uncrustables on $5.89 for some hamburger buns we've got our bread covered we're gonna head into the cold spring mix $5.49 Green grapes are $5.99 this week, $1.99 a pound. I feel like I never get them that cheap. The corn is $6.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, so I'm gonna grab that too. 
bag of cauliflower, $6.99. And some strawberries, also $6.99. Bananas, $2.79. They have gone down in price. They're actually 93 cents a pound, which it's down from 99 cents, but they only have green this week, but that's all right. Bagels for bagel sandwiches, $7.99 for two. We have seen two of Hunter's teammates. All the moms must have had the same idea on the way back from Anchorage. Stopping at Costco. Mandarin oranges, $10.99, $2.19 a pound. These are the Kara Kara oranges. $10.99, still $2.19 a pound, but bigger. And in the past, these have been the best oranges. So we're going with these ones. These are smaller than I've ever seen them, but good size for school lunches. I've never bought these before. Mini Snickerdoodle Cakes, $9.99. They look yummy, but we are gonna go for the $5.99 pumpkin pie. Westy has been asking me for a pumpkin pie. You just can't beat a $5.99 pumpkin pie. $4.99 for a Costco chicken. Some uh, Alfredo. Grabbing our ham. $9.73 or $5.69 a pound. Chicken Alfredo. Okay. Clam chowder is really good. We just make our own, but because we dug our own clams this year. But it's all right. We need to hear your thoughts. I rate that pasta six out of ten. At least everything's really hot and yeah, tasty. It just started. I wasn't sure there was going to be any samples this time of day. Milk? Yeah, we need milk. All right, let's check out milk prices. I haven't been in here in a while. So it's eight thirty, eight thirty nine for skim milk. Eight ninety nine for two gallons of. 1%, $9.59 for two gallons of 2%, and $10.29 for whole milk. At the grocery store, I can get it for about $3.99 a gallon, so I've been picking it up there, which is a big difference. Two gallons of whole milk is like $8 instead of $10.29, so. They're getting ready for Christmas with some eggnog for $9.99 for two half gallons. Three half gallons of almond milk is $9.99. Two half gallons of whole organic milk is $18.99. That just seems really, really high. Oh, it's four half gallons, so not so bad. It's four half gallons, so it's $9 a gallon. That's still really high, but not as high as I was thinking. I am gonna buy a three pack of whipped cream for $8.39 because you have to have whipped cream with pumpkin pie. I like to spread eating pie out over a long period of time. I feel like if you try and have too many at like Thanksgiving and Christmas, it just is too much, too much food all at once. So we're starting early. $14.29 for each of these. I have heard that butter is gonna probably be a hard thing to find this winter, so I'm gonna try and stock up a little bit every trip. Put them in the freezer. Thankfully, they freeze well. If you like passion fruit and you see this at your Costco, this stuff is incredible. We are making our way through a bottle, but if you see it, grab it. Sample, Hunter, sample. <laughs> He's not quite as enthusiastic as Everett when we see samples. What'd you get? <laughs> A pot sticker? Hello, Gary. Oh, hi, Lauren. How are you today? Great. We got a helper. Is that Connor? This is Hunter. Hunter, I'm sorry. The guy that got the moose? Yes. Oh. That moose is what? Way bigger than you, way bigger. Yeah. You got it all cleaned up and everything butchered? We do. It's in the freezer. Oh my god. We got a freezer full of meat, so we're good. Did dad get one? Nope. <laughs> oh, you got one over on your dad now, huh? You just had to help dad. Yeah. Or you had dad's help. But it, yeah, it was plenty of work. It's quite exciting. I used to, hunt, used to hunt with my dad way back in New York State. It's quite a thing growing up like that. Yeah. I was more of a fisherman than a hunter. Were you born more of a fisherman? 
much equal. Like what? Halibut? It's, it's equal now. Everything. 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 He loves it. We didn't have a boat. Like, we used to fish in Great Lakes, but I like I like fly fishing. That was a big thing back then. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, yeah. he's getting into fly Maybe fishing. you could be a guide when you get older. Uh, I'll see the biology. Wants biology? to be a wildlife biologist. Oh, wait, cool. These are good. They are. You got 48 of them in there. What are you specifically getting today? Oh, stuff for lunches. Restocking. I don't see your favorite can cucumbers in there, though. Oh, I didn't get cucumbers. I didn't see them. So we watch enough of your programs to know what you <laughs> actually buy. You got to keep know. an eye on that. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. All right. What are you having for supper tonight? Moose tacos. Turned 72 days ago. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you very much. I made that's sure awesome. everybody knew about that. Yeah. Don't feel a day over 50. Oh, well, that's good. Happy belated nice birthday. Nice meeting you, Hunter. Hey, thank you. All right. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh my goodness. I've never seen these in my life, but we love these Utah truffles. $9.99 for a bag. What? Gotta get some. This is my favorite sample. Is that your favorite sample? Yeah, I can't buy them or I eat too many. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I like a sample size. Have a good day. Oh, Hunter to the rescue. Cucumbers. Gary's like, you don't have cucumbers in your cart. He knows what we buy, so he was right. These are so good. Are you get some? Good. This is a hundred out of ten for me. Thanks for reminding me about the cucumbers, Gary. He went Hunter went and got them for me. These are either new or they got a new look. I can't tell. Are these the same as That's the ones? Black Forest. They're different. Fifteen fifty-nine. Oh, those are expensive. They're Black Forest. You get though. fifty of them. We're gonna try them because the boys love fruit leather. We just spotted another cross-country runner from Hunter's school. Ten ninety-nine cream cheese packets. This is when you get the six boxes. These are our favorite ones. Okay. These are $4.29 right now, so good deal. They got these back. We love these. Never seen these before. They have heated socks, rechargeable, Rena wool, Bluetooth, Machine washable. Hmm. $89 for one pair of socks. Up to 10 hours of heat. $89 for one pair of one pair of socks. What? It's a little crazy, but I could think of some situations where those would be extremely nice. Hey, what do you mean? They're heated socks, like oh. rechargeable heated socks. <laughs> Tacoma, Washington. Tim's they're good. I've had potato them. chips. I've never tried these, but the boys are kind of obsessed with the sea salt and vinegar right now. So they're on sale for $10.99 for 30 bags. We'll try them. Our Reyos sauce is not on sale and it's twice the cost of the Classico. So we're going to get that until the Reyos goes on sale. I can taste a difference, but the kids really can't. Might as well get the half price one. Half the price? Well, look at the ounces. 22 cents an ounce and 10 cents an ounce. So even though they're almost the same price, you're getting more. You gotta look, you gotta look deeper than just the surface, what it says. Here's something I've never seen. Danish puff pastries, Karen's Bakery, baked in Denmark. $7.99. This is a new box of candy I've never seen at Costco. Our Costco does not have a huge candy section like a Sam's Club does. But this is new. These are like all my boys' favorites type of things. But it's $18.99 for 30 of them. But we don't need candy because our viewers are the best ever and have sent so many yummy treats. The boys have really been enjoying them. All right, here is our cart for today. Do you have a guess, Hunter, of how much we spent? Uh, 350. Okay, we'll see. We will see.
Gary had a birthday. We gotta go give him a little gift. I couldn't leave without giving him a gift. He's our friend. Don't you forget this. Happy birthday. Oh, don't do that. Aww. You're welcome. See you later. If you're watching this, happy birthday, Gary. And we just wanted to spread some kindness to you since you always are so kind to everybody coming through Costco. Hello, Miss Luna. You okay? You did come say hello? Check out the groceries. Everett is hard at work on his homework. Practicing the letter T. Towel. Good job. Came up to Luna, sitting in this little wedge of a space. I love how they get themselves tucked into spots. You smell your food? I actually got something for you today. Yeah, we got you some food and kitty litter. Yeah. Can you say hello? She's like, wait, where'd the bin go? I'm exposed now. All right, friends, time to do the haul. If you're new here, we are a hunting, fishing family, so we do not buy a lot of protein at Costco or at the grocery store. We have a freezer full of moose meat, halibut, and salmon. That is what we do for protein for most of our meals. And then combine that with all of our Costco groceries and a few things from the grocery store, but I am not a big grocery store shopper. I really prefer Costco. Let's do this Costco haul. I did a little stock up on butter. I don't really believe in panic buying. I just like to buy a little bit extra when I can and have some storage of it, but I don't like to run out and buy a ton if I'm afraid I'm not gonna find it. Just a little bit at a time. Whipped cream, small apples, Go-Gurts were on sale. We'll put one in the freezer, one in the refrigerator. Costco doesn't always carry these six packs. I feel like they only, they always carry the big tub, but when we're doing smoked salmon with cream cheese, this has a different consistency and one of these plus a thing of smoked salmon is the best. So that's why I always get excited when I find those. They don't freeze well, but they do last a long time. So you just have to have plans to use them. Grab some strawberries for the boys' lunches, breakfasts, my salads, whatever. They're kind of expensive, but Every once in a while, I like to grab strawberries. Grab some more spaghetti sauce because I realized we were out this week. Two things of ham. Hello, Miss Luna. <coughs> Kara Kara oranges, they're kind of red inside. Typically, these are the best oranges I can find here in Alaska. Um, hopefully, these are good. This is the first I've seen them this year. Grapes were on sale, so I grabbed that. They were actually $1.99 a pound, which I don't ever see up here. My goal is to try and buy fruit under $2 a pound. I know to some of you that might seem crazy, but in Alaska, that's a good deal. Bananas. We did buy some new scoop away for Luna because I noticed we were on our last bag. Some cauliflower for dinner, side dishes. And these apples, ambrosia, ambrosia apples, am I saying that correctly? This looked really, really good. Really, really crisp. I love a crisp apple. <laughs> Luna smells her food. We all know she is really good at getting into her food. At least her treat packets. Now she's gonna try and get into her big food. Okay, you're gonna have to get down, Missy. We don't want you breaking into that bag. We're not quite ready for it. So we got Luna some food. I'm gonna take this downstairs and put it away before we have her getting into it. And 
for those of you worried about Luna being on the countertop, I'm so sorry. I am terrible at training her um, and I do wash my countertop at least four times a day. So before we eat, after we eat, it gets washed a lot. So sorry. Where were we? Corn. They had a deal on corn today, so I grabbed that. The boys love corn. And corn never gets to a very good price in Alaska. So every once in a while, I'll grab that. It'll be a great side dish with our barbecue moose meat next week that I have on the menu. Spring mix. Cucumbers that we almost forgot. Bagels for bagel sandwiches. I've been putting these in the boys' lunches. They love them. A pumpkin pie, a chicken. I always shred the chicken right away. Make it into soup, make it into salads, whatever we need. King's Hawaiian rolls for boys' lunches. Make ahead, store in the freezer. This is for our barbecue mousse next week. These are for peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uncrustables that I've been making and storing in the freezer, pull them out for breakfast. Just in case you are wondering what I am talking about when I say that I make and freeze the boys' sandwiches for lunches, let me explain. A day after my Costco run, I set out all the sandwich fixings and make a lot of sandwiches all at once. First, I do ham and cheese with mayonnaise and mustard on Hawaiian rolls. I put a thin layer of mayonnaise and mustard on the bottom and top. Then I add my ham and Havarti cheese, and then I cut them up using the lines of the Hawaiian rolls as the guide. The older three boys like two of these sandwiches in their lunch, and one is perfect for Everett. I have taste tested them myself and they thaw out beautifully by lunchtime. They are not soggy at all. I package them up and put them in the freezer. Next, I move on to peanut butter and jelly Uncrustables with wheat bread, peanut butter, and our homemade raspberry jam. I'm really surprised by how little peanut butter and jelly you need to make a really good sandwich. This cool little cutting and crimping tool is from Amazon and I will link it down below for you. It works really well. Just make sure that you flip the sandwich over and crimp it on both sides to get a good closure. And don't worry, we do not waste the crusts. I put them in a bag and put them in the freezer and then pull them out and make them into the most delicious breakfast French toast casserole. Lastly, I cut open the bagels. I put cream cheese on them and then I cut them in half and give the boys half of a bagel in their lunches. That has been something that they really like. And once again, these are stored in the freezer. Now that we got that out of the way, we can get back to the Costco haul. Two of these butternut squash churros. Probably already heard me rave about those, but they're so good. And the boys love them in their lunches. And I've never tried these Black Forest. Black Forest, I think is like a, the only thing I've ever seen Black Forest do is um, gummy bears. So I'm most excited about the apricot and just kind of having some different flavors of fruit leather, zero added sugars. Uh, this does have added sugar, but these, if you ever see a Utah truffle, these are amazing if you like mint. We are big fans of chocolate mint. I'm gonna put these up and give them as Christmas gifts because they're so yummy. Mark and I both went to college in Utah, so we are familiar with the Utah truffles, but I've never seen them at Costco. Like I said in the store, the boys have been kind of obsessed with sea salt and vinegar chips lately, and so those are to stick in lunches every once in a while. And instant read thermometer for when we are cooking meats and need to know the temperature. There are several things like when we are smoking salmon, you need an instant read on when the salmon has reached the proper temperature. And I didn't have one the last time that I smoked salmon and I was really regretting it. So hopefully this will solve that problem. The last time I bought one of these, I broke it when I was opening it out of the package. And so then we didn't have it when I needed it. 
Hey, Everett, do you want to do a taste test for me? All right, we're gonna give Everett some, a few things to taste test and then we'll tell you the total. If you are new here, Everett used to go Costco shopping with me every single week and he is the sample king. He loves getting samples, but now he has started kindergarten. So I'm gonna give him a few things to sample and he's just gonna tell us his opinion, whether he likes them or not, and he can rate them for us. And if I want them in my school lunch or not. That sounds like a good thing. Okay, let me grab them. Hold on. First of all, they have these new fruit leathers. Do you have a flavor you want to try? Yes. Which flavor would you like to try? Um, definitely not these. Two. That's cherry? Strawberry. Apple. Strawberry, okay. And one more. Okay, so these are a little bit smaller than the ones I'm used to. But these are, they're small ones. Too. Okay, taste test. Sample, do you want me to cut it in sample size? No. Okay. This is a sample size. Can I have a little bit of it too? Yes. Hold on. I don't want it. I love it. I think it's great. What, you don't like it? Yeah, I don't put it on, in my life. Okay. I love it. I like it. It's, the, it's good. Okay. What? I guess I need a yes chocolate. Yes, it's. We're gonna let him try a Utah truffle. Oh, smells good. Minty. Can you stand up so that they can see you? Right. This one is okay. bomb. I want you to close your eyes and I'm gonna. This is bomb. I want you to taste it. Close your eyes and savor it. Really good. Really good. What do you score it out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. He approves. Oh, Play that brings ball. back memories. They yeah. are so good. Melt away center, delicious mint flavor. Checks all the boxes. You want them in your lunch? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What is your guess? How much money do you think we spent today at Costco? Look behind you at this hall and tell me what. How much do you think we spent? Plus these. Plus these. Yep. I have one more chocolate. We'll see. Let's see if how, what you guess. Eighteen cents and ninety dollars. Ninety dollars and eighteen cents. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. The actual total is three hundred thirty-two dollars and ninety-seven cents. Oh. Almost. <laughs> but it's the same. You're just uh, $200 off. <laughs> it was getting a little crazy in there and it's so nice outside. Take advantage of every minute of nice weather we get here at the end of fall. Thank you so much for coming along to Costco. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us. Thank you, we love you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. Like and subscribe and hit the bell that's how you like and subscribe. Bye!